Hi, this is Newman, and I'm going to walk you through building this ASCII Chan assignment uh, from the Udacity Core CS253. Uh, I'm going to copy all the code from this uh, discussion post, and we are going to be using the Google App Engine. And I'm going to use a text editor of Notepad. Um, so let's begin. First thing is to create a new app engine application. And I'm going to call this Newman 5 ASCII Chan. And we'll put it on port. That's that's all right. Path invalid. Create a new application. Let's call it Newman five dash s. Aha, I bet I have to put in a parent directory. That makes sense. Uh, Newman 5 ASCII. And let's put this in my this folder. I think it will do that, right? Okay, perfect. So now, ha ha ha, there's our app uh, YAML file. And let's get all the other files open. And here's the main. Okay. I think that's all we're going to need. Let's look over here. Um, so there's the main, and there's the app, and then this front. And actually, let's begin part two, copying in all of the code. So I'm going to copy this. Copy. I'm going to get over here and create a new one, paste it in, and save it in a folder called templates. Templates. Make sure we spell this right. Templates. And then give it the file name of front.html, I think. Is that correct? Front. Dot, yeah, front.html in the templates folder. Okay, so we copied that part in. Let's copy this part in. And control all will not work. Let's copy that. Flip over here. Paste this. Ho, ho, ho. Wait a minute. undo so this so we don't want that part that's all the same and then handlers those are all the same that's the same that's the same name Jinja Jinja wait a minute testing Jinja I bet that is the same too. So wait a minute. So we just need this. I have a feeling, but you will see it happen here live. Okay, so we got that. And then we're going to get this. Copy. Flip it over here and into the main py. 
and drop that sucker in there. Okay. Um, let's just see if it will work. Hop over here and type in local host and see nothing else is going to be running. That's going to not going to work because it's not running. So let's go over to here and run this guy. This starts up the, I guess the little web server that it has and we can fire that. And fire that. And nope. Okay, so we're back to the drawing board. I'm going to hit a pause on this recording at six minutes, and I will be back to you with what I found was wrong. Okay, so it seemed that it was only a problem of caching or, or some such thing because I didn't do anything. Um, I just uh, hit the refresh button. Um, I got I got one of my other ones running and then I came over here so I don't know exactly uh, why that was but and then this there you go okay so that was a neat little tutorial uh, to show you uh, in real time how somebody does that. I want to thank everybody, um, and especially this uh, poster. They've helped me out quite a bit and uh, have done a really good job. Um, and I hope that uh, this helps you uh, and uh, you pay it forward. Okay, thank you much. Bye.